The man allegedly responsible for murdering a 10-year-old girl in Rockford appeared in court today for a virtual bond hearing. Antonio Monroe was accused of kidnapping and killing 10-year-old Destiny Huggins. At today's hearing, 13 News found out his bond was set at $5 million, with him needing 10% to be released. It was also, also discovered that Monroe had been out on bail before his arrest this past weekend for crime in 2020. And we were able to speak with one person sitting inside that hearing today. 13 WREX's Destin Howard was at the courthouse and joins us now with Reaction. Destin. I spoke to one person who sat in on Monroe's hearing who says this is a step in the right direction. Lawmakers agree with the Huggins family supporter that more must be done to protect children from these kinds of criminals. $5 million cash bond has been set for Antonio Monroe, the alleged murderer of 10-year-old Destiny Huggins. Whitney Rouse, a Huggins family supporter, sat in on the hearing, saying this is only a step in the right direction. It's a start. Um, obviously, $5 million isn't realistic for any of us, um, medium, middle class, to come up with. So, I mean, we're off to the right start. If it was up to me, no bonds. He doesn't deserve any chance to get out. Monroe Monroe has committed similar crimes in other areas in the states. Rouse is concerned that he was able to travel so far. Um, so a lot of the questions the community has been asking is why is the sex offender here in the first place? Um, and now hearing of the incident in Schaumburg, it all makes sense um, that he committed his crime there and stole her car and he made his way out here looking for his next victim. And it's just sad and unfortunate that it had to be destiny. To prevent other children from becoming victims, State Representative Dave Bella believes authorities must do a better job of monitoring sex offenders. And I'm sure somebody should have been watching them and they weren't. And I'm, as, as a legislator, we got to make sure that the people who are dangerous, and clearly this man was dangerous, are watched. Representative John Cabello added legislators have to do a better job of passing laws to hold criminals accountable for such crimes. He was convicted of a crime of, the, of this nature in 2010. He was supposed to serve eight years in prison, but only served six. Where is the justice for the kids that he has harmed before? Antonio Monroe is set to appear in court again on August 15th at 9 a.m.